Reading it was just as exciting as, as watching. It was, it's, it's so huge even on the page. Your mouth is open and when something else happens, you're like, oh my God, it's that kind of film. Very cold. I was in an actual lake that was freezing around the edges. It was mid-December. I had heated clothing on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably did. No. We all probably had like, uh, but um, yeah, I was in like this tank that was in the middle of the lake and on top of it was perspex with wax. So we could um, skate on top of it and it was bloody freezing to the point where your whole body would just go like, <gasps> but it was great. It was great. Added to the performance. I was actually cold. Aww. My little cactus has a baby. Either that or a spot. Okay, I have an update on my cactus. I found out that he's ill. Boo! Poor little cactus! If anybody knows how I can save his life, I will really appreciate any advice. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Guys, I performed surgery and I chopped it out. It was quite big, quite traumatic. I used a simple butter knife and I hope he's going to get better. Love you. Aww. He is. You're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, flick it. <laughs> and bird just show my head. Oh, it's a boy <laughs> also, all of you saying that it's good luck I got shat on. Guys, the only reason why they say it's good luck is because you've just been shat on the head and someone has to quickly make you feel better because shit is on your head. It's not good luck. People just say that because they feel bad. I got shat on the head. And it was so red and juicy, it splattered. So was there any particular part of the movie that you found like, really difficult to watch or experience again? You know, there's one particularly difficult scene for me. <laughs> there's a few particularly difficult scenes the for me. The best really, thing but... is that everybody's going to be like, hmm, I wonder what scene yeah, I wonder what that is. And then when they watch then it, they're going to be know. like, is it this scene? Is it this scene? And oh. then they'll get to it and be like, oh, that's the scene. <laughs> there are other parts that are now rotting. So I'm sorry to say that I don't know how happy he is. I've been told by lots of people that it's because that bit doesn't belong on this bit. And so now they're just eating each other, I think. Anyway, Barry has had a nice long life. We'll see how it goes. If it gets any worse, I've been told I should just chop the red bit off, which seems a little bit mean. But it's also now eating the baby, so I'm kind of like, I don't have anything else to do. So guys, I found this miraculous thing called truffle cheese. And I'm still not quite over it. I had it for dinner. I had it as a late night snack. And I had it for breakfast. And I'm, I'm not complaining about that. Excuse me, miss. Your costume is so amazing. You look so... No! Ah! He's my boyfriend. Ow. Oh, I think I just said something super sexy. Hi, everyone. So something happened in the shower today. Um... I, uh, I've really got used to using blue shampoo for blonde hair so it'll keep your hair nice and cool and not too yellowy and so I bought this blue shampoo um, online and it even said great for platinum hair and I was like well I'm blonde that's gonna be wicked so I bought the shampoo I used it this morning 
and um, when I when I washed it out, um, it it turned blue. It's not even a cool blue. It's like some bits are blue and some bits aren't. It looks like I went to the shop and bought one bottle of blue and didn't think it was it was gonna need more. <clears throat> Feeling pretty silly, but um, just trying to channel my younger self when I wished I could have blue hair, and and I'm <clears throat> I'm slightly at peace with it. After watching it, I just couldn't, I couldn't even communicate. I had to do a bit of a meditation this morning to yep. feel happiness. You know when you, <clears throat> as a kid, accidentally put your apple down somewhere and then you forgot where it was and then weeks later, possibly years later, you find it and um, it, it looks like something out of an alien film. Well, this is definitely the case. For, that is seriously close to my eye. We are getting too close, Barry. Um, he's looking... Guys, he's fucked up. He, I, I'm a bad mother for this cactus. But I don't think it's completely all my fault because that red bit doesn't look happy. Most red bits don't look happy, but yeah, that's, I mean, come on. It doesn't exactly look like anything. Well, obviously Scarlet, because I feel like I have a, a I've learned a lot from her already. Um, and uh, that sequence that you saw was one of the first things that we shot together. And it was one of those cool moments where I go to set for the first week. Guess it's time to get this out. Oh, shit. Yes, it's the real thing. <laughs> Pow, indeed. And I've definitely been told many times to chop off the tip. It wasn't Barry's fault, but I definitely did just accidentally put my finger on one of the spiky bits. That little thing right there. Can you see it? No, it's just getting closer to my eye. Just your everyday surgical knife. Place Barry close to the edge. It's okay. Ow! Fuck me! <laughs> I know I look insane, but I'm not. I'm saving this cactus life. Cacti life. This cacti's life. <laughs> Got you. You didn't think I was going to get it. I haven't run in a week. This will be interesting. Yay. Wow. What? Gay rights? Gay Most rights. definitely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. I just say half a jar or something that tasted like Nutella but it wasn't Nutella and it's so good I'm just keeping this spoon in my mouth <sighs> Wait, how do you turn it around? How about tap it? Oh no, that didn't work. Barry is doing Great. <clears throat> um, I learned a lot about cactuses through this whole saga. One of which that I didn't realise some mad people will chop a plant in half and will put a different plant on top of a different plant and expect it to grow normally. What kind of human centipede kind of shit is that? Poor Barry nearly died. The poor little red bit. It wasn't even a baby. It was like a a really bad spot 
that was going bad quickly. So I'm happy that all of you told me to chop the tip off. I did. Barry's looking so much better now. Um, you can even see the bit where they, where they put the other plant in there, which is fascinating, but it doesn't work because they don't want to be... Um, I got caught off. They don't want to be friends, these strange plants, uh, which is fair dues because could you imagine if you were locked in a small room with someone you really fucking hated, I'm sure you would much rather rot as well. So... He's doing all right. Lots of love to all of you. Thank you. From buying. I've learned a lot. I repotted them straight away. I haven't given them a lot of water. I'm very excited about this one. I think I'm going to name her Madame. I'm not quite sure about these names yet. So I had a lot of ups and downs when I raised Barry and his friends. Um... It was very traumatic for all of us, um, but I just found some little friends that I couldn't help myself. I'm supposed to be showing off my ponytail in a really natural way because Ooh, smash, you know, baby. we do natural ponytail shaking. Oh! <laughs> well, that was the sleep of the decade, apparently. I woke up like this. Just the way I like it. I look like a, a teenage lion.